Hello students, welcome back to Prakash CBSE. Today we will see question number 10. In the question number 10, there are two options. So we are going to discuss two options also. So first read the question. Show that a1, a2, up to an forms an AP where an is defined below. So an is given in two cases. We have to find out. So we have to prove that a1, a2, up to an forms an AP. So let's take the first option here. We have your first option and second option and also we have to find out sum of the first 15 terms in each case. Means first we have to find out the AP here. After finding the AP we can find out sum of 15 terms. Means yes 15. So let's take the given data in the first option. A n. Nth term is defined like 3 plus 4 n. We know where n means positive integer which means natural numbers. So let's apply a is n is equal to natural numbers means positive integers 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 so that we will get the AP. If you let's take this as a equation number 1 then let's take n equal to 1, 2, 3 etc. So that you will get the AP. If you are applying n is equal to 1 in the first equation then you will get a1 is equal to 3 plus 4 into 1 which is 3 plus 4 so a1 equal to you will get 7 which means first term you got 7 now apply n is equal to 2 in the equation number 1 then you will get a2 equal to 3 plus 4 into 2 which is 3 plus 8 you will get 11 so this is the second term let's find out one more term by applying n is equal to now 3 so 3 plus 4 into 3 which is 3 plus 4 3 so 12 so we will get 15 as the third term so the terms you got a1 comma a2 comma a3 or we have your 7 comma 11 comma 15 this is the ap but we don't know whether this is the ap or not but we got three terms here now we have to prove means we have to show that this forms an AP means 7 comma 11 comma 15 is AP that only we have to prove we know how to check whether the given uh, sequence is AP or not by using common difference formula let's find out difference formula a2 minus a1 or we can take a3 minus a2 if both common difference are equal then we can say it forms an AP Let's apply a2 minus a1. a2 value 11 minus 7 or we can take here 15 minus 11. So here if you subtract 4, here if you subtract 4. So therefore common difference is 4. You are getting in both the cases common difference is 4 only. So we can say it forms an AP. okay so with first one we proved show that a1 a2 an forms an ap so we found a1 a2 a3 values and we checked that they forms an ap now extra thing what we have to find out also find sum of first 15 terms in each case means we have to find out s15 in each case so let's find out s15 we know sum of nth term formula sn equal to n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d we have to find out s yes, 15 means sum of 15 terms means number of terms here you have 15 s yes, 15 so 15 by 2 into 2a value means first term you got 7 plus n minus 1 into d difference you got 4 now 15 by 2 2 7 are 14 they are also 14 into 4 so 15 by 2 14 plus 4, 4 is 16 so 56 so 15 by 2 56 and 14 70 just cancel you will get 35 
so 15 into 35 if you multiply you will get sum of 15 terms of a ap so if you multiply you will get 525 this is the sum of 15 terms so the same way only we are going to do second option also let's take your second option so second option it's defined like a n is equal to 9 minus 5 n second option we have a n equal to 9 minus 5 n okay let's take this as equation number one and let's take n means a positive integer or we can see natural numbers let's take n equal to 1 2 3 etc you can apply some numbers it's enough if you are applying 3 also okay or 4 also no problem now if you are taking n is equal to 1 then you will get a 1 means first term simplify 9 minus 5 you will get 4 this is the first term if you apply n equal to 2 then you will get second term 9 minus 5 into 2 9 minus 10 so minus 1 is the second term now let's apply n equal to 3 then you will get 9 minus 5 into 3 9 minus 15 then you will get minus 6 is the third term so therefore the sequence or the numbers a3 or like this we got 4 comma minus 1 comma minus 6 etc it will be going on now we have to check whether this forms an ap or not first let's find out the common difference a2 minus a1 and a3 minus a2 if two common difference are equal in the numbers then we can say it forms an ap so minus 1 minus 4 equal to minus 6 minus of minus 1 will get minus 5 minus minus into minus plus so minus 5 equal to minus 5 so common difference common difference is same if the common difference is same it forms an ap okay this all we learn in the First exercise how to check whether the given series is in AP or not AP. Okay. Now let's find out sum of 15 terms. So we have to find out sum of 15 terms. In each case, this is it. So we know Sn equal to formula n by 2 2a plus n minus 1 into d. Your number of terms are much 15. So S15 equal to 15 by 2. 2 your a value we got a value means first term first term we got 4 plus n minus 1 into common difference d we got here minus 5 so further you simplify 15 by 2 8 14 into minus 5 15 by 2 8 you will get plus into minus minus 5 plus 20 2 5 1 70 you will get 15 by 2 if you subtract you will get minus 62 cancel so 15 into minus 31 if you multiply you will get the sum of 15 terms minus 465 is the sum of 15 terms answer Hope that you understand this. If any doubt, please put it in the comment section. And thank you so much for watching.